Never done this on my phone before. Uh, hey there, fellow creators. Ben here from Cinderblock Studios. Um, this isn't officially me back. This is just uh, I wanted to do this while I had this stuff here. Um, and uh, as you can see, my studio table is covered in a black tablecloth. It's a bed sheet. Uh, I'm setting up for my annual Christmas party, which is this evening. But I wanted to get this squared away uh, before that because I didn't want to leave this sitting in wrapped, so I'm shoving in the corner somewhere. Uh, as you can see, I still have the brace on, and I'm standing here in my PJs to do this. Um, so I uh, finally recently went and got the uh, the Etcher Slate Mini uh, from Darren Yao's company, uh, uh, Etcher Labs, Etcher uh, Art Satchel Company, whatever it is. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, a couple of years ago, Uh, Darren Yao, artist from Australia, came out with this guy, which is the uh, Nomad Art Satchel. Just around the time that this came out, I was looking for something like I need something that carries around, carries around like sketchbooks and materials and stuff. And this thing was showed up on Kickstarter. Now I didn't back the Kickstarter, but the only reason, the only way you can could have gotten the Nomad, there were only two production runs of this thing. The first one was the initial one on Kickstarter. The second one was this one, which usually took a bunch of pre-orders, then did a production run of it. Now, this has been a, a very trusty thing for me. However, the it has shown its age, these internal inserts uh, where you strap everything in uh, aren't the best, and they're just sort of like a base cardboard filler in the middle. So they've warped a lot over time. And so for a long time, I wanted to get his uh, uh, new one, his new new um, version of this, uh, since the company changed name from uh, Nomad uh, Art something or other, Nomad Art, I don't know, something like that. It's on the back of my box. I don't feel like getting out now. Um, and so the equivalent of the Nomad is called the Slate Mini. And I also picked up some of their new custom watercolors. Uh, so I wanted to do, give you guys sort of this unboxing and first look at these. Um, both of these will be a review sometime in 2022, um, back when I am got more full range of motion on my arm and everything. But I figured I'd do this as first impressions, uh, at least for remembering what I said and what I thought uh, by the time I get to the review, probably sometime in the middle of summer, at least for the, the carry thing, because I won't be carrying this any sketchbooks outside when it's uh, February. So I'll start with that. Um, this is how it came. It was in a, uh, just a shipping envelope, which is the bottom of my trash can now. Both of these were together and wrapped in bubble wrap and taped together, which is nice. Um, might need scissors, I'm not sure. This is really, there we go. That's not bad. So I'm really excited for this. When I do the review, I'm actually gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, even though I know a lot of people probably didn't buy the original Nomad, since it only had two production runs. But uh, I will I will do those I will do that as a as a comparison. Oh wow, that's gray this time, rather than that funny black material. Glad to see it still has the the, uh, the tripod mount. I I knew it did, but uh, wow, this is like start to finish. This is overall presentation is so much better. To be fair, the guys probably learned something in the six or seven years. For, uh, Seven years, I think, since the first one launched. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I really like the, the design of this little guy sitting on top, little tag or whatever. That'll probably have to cut off. Eh. Eh. So, let's start with this thing. I like the little quick guide. At your slate mini, quick guide. It says somebody using it. Crafted for the artist, carry for creatives. Built to carry your art gear wherever you may roam. The Etcher Slate range is an expandable weatherproof system designed to adapt uh, to your creative needs. I'm pretty sure that's on the website anyway. Shows all the, I guess, stuff that goes in it or stuff you might carry in it. Yeah, all, the, all, the, all these images are on the website as part of their thing, but it's really nice to see this just as a tag thing. Tripod mode, dude, 
tripod not included. No kidding. <laughs> guess you have. I guess you have to put it put it there for dumb people though. Modular. So th that was the thing with the original. Is it was just like big big sheet of thing. This is I think a little bit more customizable, which is nice. Mud, rain, snow won't stop the art making. Water resistance around all the zippers. <laughs> Color, dark like my soul. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. All right, so, yeah, so front zipper. And that's got a nice, that's fairly minimal pocket. It's like that big. Probably enough for a phone. Hold that up to the, yeah. <laughs> Not so you can see it, so I can see how big my phone was in, ter in terms of how big, yeah. That'll probably actually fit something closer to a, um, a Samsung Galaxy Tab or uh, uh, that phablet thing that they have. Not the Galaxy Tab, the... I don't even know if they still make those. I think a friend of mine's got one. Uh, logo's a... Uh, sort of looks like it's almost carved out of this leathery material on the front. Not leather. Foamy. Foamy. Plastic, leathery, textured. It really feels, feels very nice. It's not as in your face as the Nomad logo was. I, mean, I really want to do this, but I don't have the strength in this arm right now. So this is actually a lot harder for me to pull these. But also, that's great grippy Velcro, too. Okay, that's perfect for a sketchbook in and of itself. In fact, here's a 7 by 10 uh, Hanson XL. I bet this fits in it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, that would fit in there perfectly like that. So additional paper space. Really good. I'll, this would also probably be good for like a, like a pan set of watercolors like these. <laughs> um, so that um, water brushes, things like that, that, that are flat that can go into there. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, there's that and the straps. Oh, this one doesn't come with the strap out of the gate. Interesting. But I bet. Seems I would have had to buy the strap separately. That's how they get you. Uh, but I have a strap for the old one, so I bet I can just use the strap for the old one. I'm sure the uh, design won't be quite the same, but should fit, and I can I can just attach it up on these hooks. So I will do that. Interestingly, not to do more side-by-side -side comparison stuff, but the old hooks were metal rings. These are plastic. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference. But it is worth noting since I noticed that immediately. Yeah, I do, do have the nice handle there. I feel like even without the, the strap, this is just a nice carrying bag. There's also a back strap, this is for a back pocket. This is probably just to get the yeah. That's just to get the, the plate in and out. Okay, inside. Eh, eh. Oop, hello. Nice tight zips. Oop, oop. Okay. Internal strap. Good. Oh no, the strap is in there. Hey, check it out. The strap is in there. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. Okay, inside one side. So, similar to the old one, you have those little grooves for pencils and pens, but they're a lot more uh, limited. There's, so there's a... Um, sp they're spacers. They're, they're, they're stitched in at certain points. Some are smaller down in towards the bottom, some are bigger up towards the top. And everything is this extra special, extra... It's like a really this is a high this is high quality like new age velcro y stuff. So yeah, you can really um so four corners of a for a sketchbook or a tablet and that and you can move them around a lot better. This the whole inner structure of this I think is a little bit thicker. Uh it feels more like a, a denser particle board rather than the uh other stuff. Um yeah. Maybe there is a strap on. <laughs> And it was just packed inside because it's compact. As, oh, there's only oh, okay. There's only one zipper on this one. The old one had, had I think two on all of the other things. Okay, so a couple more strappies. With this thing. Yeah, there is a strap. Good. 
which feels a little bit more, a little bit more better than the last one. Oh heck, we're gonna put the strap on so I can actually hold this thing. Hmm. It seems like this corner is gonna be a little bit of a thing. Corners are a little more packed. It's probably just from the shipping, but just need to just need to work it in a little bit more. All right, that's that. This is it's back up. Yeah, this feels like quality on this feels just miles ahead of where the Nomad was for that Gen One. All right, strap. Off. Good. Didn't have to buy the strap separately. I was worried for a minute there that he was gonna pull a pull an Apple thing. Actually, come to think of it, this is it just might it's an adjustment thing, but it feels a lot smaller. Might have might I don't know, yeah, let's this is just the, yeah, okay, it's just the strap. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Move the move the buckle, you dummy. Yeah. So adjustable, obviously. Oh, these these clips are way denser. Way denser. Less of a chance that they'll randomly pop off. Not that the old one had that problem either, but this is like high quality. This is high quality shit. Yep. That, this in the bag, and testing this out is gonna be great. And now I'm actually curious, size-wise, too, side by side. So the old one looks like it was a little wider. Now, now this is technically called the Mini. There's a bigger of this, which is, I think, an extra half size larger than the original Nomad. But, um, yeah. So I, I think that I probably won't be able to fit a full 9x12 in this. Which, I mean, that kind of makes sense because metric standards are slightly smaller um, in terms of the, that. But um, yeah, this this feels really bulky, especially when it's fully packed. Uh, this is already just thinner, lighter by at least a pound. And it feels really nice. So I will have to uh, test this more extensively. So I probably you probably won't see a review of this until at least probably May or June at the earliest, but uh, that is coming up next year. And since I was on the website order and stuff, I'm like, do I get, because they've been introducing sketchbooks and pen sets and all kind of stuff. And I'm like, do I get more crap? But I'm like, well, I'm here, I'm buying stuff. I think I had like a 15% discount, so I was like, sure, why not? Let's, let's get something I'm probably not going to use a ton, but still likely use a bit of. At least, at least for a bit, at least for one video, right? So I was intrigued to find that they have a line of pan watercolors, and the only pan watercolors that I have are um, old Crayola ones. So I, I generally don't use the pan colors. So I was curious to see what these would be like, among other things. So, a lot of bubble wrap, good to see that. Well packed, not going to get damaged in shipping. Cellophane, plastic. What really sucks about having this brace, I want to just be able to like, like opening a bag of chips is damn near impossible for me right now, because I can't get the grip on it to do that. In, in the tw in the twist and the pull because I can't I just don't have that strength. I mean I have more now than I had a couple weeks ago, but still not great. Once again, top quality design. I mean, artists designing art products for artists, so makes sense. Um, funny the funny llama on that. Uh, what you got? I had to tilt that a little. Eh, there you go. There it is. Um, is this just a pull-out box? I think it is. Maybe. How do I open this? Yeah, I think it's just in there. Maybe? Wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Let's look at the back first. 
Shows you the colors. Conforms to uh, ASTM standards. Good. It's supposed to. So it's a 24 half pan set. It says premium student series. So they're probably not super high quality, but they are doable and pretty good on the go. Interesting to see a lot of these colors have uh, some different names compared to regular paint colors. So uh, pure white, uh, lemon yellow, just yellow, mighty ochre, llama orange, soft orange, simply red, rouge red, sweet red, pretty pink, royal purple, lime green, leaf green, emerald green, ocean turquoise, ultramarine, and Prussian blues. Those are regular colors. Sky blue, cobalt blue, that's a nice regular color. Umber brown, okay. Brick brown, burnt sienna, that's a nice regular color name. Dark brown and power black. Reminds me of, uh, okay, how the hell do I even open this? Is it, oh, oh, it opens up, okay, okay, gotcha. Might have been nice to put that on the box. So, pops out, is that magnetic? Oh shit, that's magnetic. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, magnetic pop up and over. My, yeah, if Darren if, and your team is watching, put put a little instruction, just like open here or something, like like pull open, would really help so I wasn't fiddling with it for that long. Okay, we believe art has the power to make this world a better place. I agree! Also, there's a thing up there, show us your art, tag with Etcher Paints on social media for a chance to win a monthly Etcher art voucher. Fun. Um, so I want to help artists with your help you can deliver thousands of bags, sketchbooks, palettes, and other peculiar inventions to artists all over the world. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Joining us on this adventure. We hope you'll enjoy these watercolors. Uh, Anya and the Etcher Art Team. Or the Etcher Team. So this is some this is some high quality shit. Inside we've got a oh damn. Oh, that's a microfiber cloth too. Holy crap. This is, this is some next level care taken on this stuff. Okay, that pulls out. Got a little thing for that. Light fast rating. Excellent to pour, to pour on a one through eight blue wool scare, scale. And it shows the transparency, what, what they kind of uh, are, are using for their things and that is that is just beautiful i actually want to try and preserve a lot of this because i'm oh shit <laughs> um i probably want to show some of this in the video when i get to the video or at least try and get some b-roll later uh bef before i actually test it okay so that is a little etcher sticker on the corner this is actually interesting it's got a hook i'm not entirely sure why or what i'm supposed to use that for but it's quite classy. So that opens up some nice wells in the back. Well, that's hinged, very nice. Uh, and this is actually quite appreciated. So we have a list of the colors as their names are. They're light fast rating, tells you whether it's semi-transparent, opaque, or otherwise. And it does actually give you the pigment information, which is quite useful. So I can see that sky blue based on the pigment is a, uh, is a cerulean. Uh, umber is a, looks like a brown umber mixed with some, uh, uh, what is that color, red oxide. <laughs> Brick brown is just the red oxide. So, uh, it's also very similar. Dark brown's a mix of, looks like a black and a sienna. Power black is just, oh, PDK 7, what's this, seven? 7 carbon black? 7 is carbon black, okay. Well, this is actually a nice piece of watercolor paper that this is all printed on. Yeah, white PW6 is, is titanium white. Five, there's some Ilarides in there. 150, that's got to be a cadmium yellow or orange. Well, that's, no. I'll, I'll have to look all these up later. Ooh, rouge red is probably going to be, actually, I should look to see if any of these are... Nope, bummer. No PR-122. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, so we have all of those listed. They're all in little... Oh, it's going to take me an arm and a leg to, to... How do I... 
Is it just... Oh, wait a minute. Talk about preserving things. I think these are just simple little wraps that I can uh, slice off. I'll just try it with, uh, with one of them here. I, can, I feel like I should be able to lift the, these out, but... Oh yeah, there we go. Can I pull the whole thing out? Oh yeah, just pull the whole thing out. Dummy. Pull the whole thing out. Yeah. And so once the whole thing's out, oh yeah, this is okay, they bend. They bend out a little. And then you can get the little the little pan out. So they would be refillable. Good. And all that. And then it kind of works back in. So yeah, we'll unwrap one of these. Lists opacity, uh, light fastness, and pigment right on the little doodad. Well designed little labels. And then once that lifts off, you've got the little pan in there and the cake filled up nicely and as such. These are gonna be these are gonna be great. Actually really looking forward to using these probably as soon as possible. Um, yeah, and all the, all the ridges, all that makes for really good color mixing the wells and everything like that. Okay, that's really nice. So I'm going to put this back so I can get some, some B-roll for the review when I actually start working on this. But yeah, that's what I picked up. Uh, this, is, this was uh, part of my little Christmas presents for myself uh, this year. Um, I always do, I always get myself something. Uh, this, was, this was part of it. Um, so I was happy I'm able to kind of share that my little unboxing first impressions of these guys with you. I uh, look forward to uh, this stuff coming uh, for full on reviews. Uh, these will probably be sometime by February in terms of the actual review. Uh, the, again, the, the, the slate mini won't be until summer when I can actually get out and get some better uh, footage and everything for, for that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited to, uh, to share this with you guys. Um, thanks so much for checking this out. Uh, this is just a quick little video to get you guys inspired uh, and uh, perhaps interested in some new art products. So uh, be sure to check these guys out at etcherlab.com. Uh, I was going to say, what is it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> um, Thanks guys for watching. Keep on creating. And uh, one more video this year will be the bloopers just sometime before the end of the year. I'll get to it as soon as I can. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Keep on creating and I will see you guys next time.